ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at panawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Kaya naman samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na to. Lahat sila ay civil engineering students mula sa UP Diliman. It looks like it's going to be an exciting mm. episode. Marise likes watching and re-watching long series. She also listens to different K-pop groups. Ivan also loves listening to music and actually thinks he is very lazy. <laughs> si Jethro naman ay mahilig magluto at maglaro ng Mobile Legends. He used to make an experiment with iced coffee and frappes during the pandemic. Jarek's hobbies, on the meantime, are playing games and watching YouTube and anime. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters from UP Diliman. Up next, we have Assistant Professor Bernard Kaslib from the Department of Social Sciences, College of Arts and Sciences from UP Manila. And finally, we have Assistant Professor Marila Indriga from the Department of Biology at UP Manila. At ngayon, contestant, sanda na ba kayo for our first round? Make sure you wait until you're acknowledged by the host. Correct answers are 10 points each, so get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's begin. Let's begin. Question number one. What southern country is known as the land down under? Ivan. Australia. Australia is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. What winter sport is played in the North American Major League NHL? Jared. Hockey. Hockey is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. Distinguished from a metaphor, what figure of speech is a comparison made with words as? Like or than? Jethro. Simile. Simile is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. What is the seventh month in the Gregorian calendar? Uh, Ivan. July. July is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. In television, on what street do Big Bird, Oscar, and Ernie live? Ivan. Elmo State. The answer is incorrect. Maurice. Sesame Street. Sesame Street is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. Which brother of singer Janet Jackson is called the King of Pop? Ivan. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. Ang paborito ng mga engineering students in mental math. What is two-thirds divided by two? Jarek. One-third. One-third is the correct answer. K-check. Question number eight. What common rodent gives its name to a handheld computer input device that controls a cursor? Jarek. Mouse. Mouse is the correct answer. K-check. Tatay na si Ivan at si Jerry. Question number nine. One of the most popular fruit drinks is a yellow-colored beverage from the fruit whose scientific name is Citrus Limon. Jethro. Lemon juice. The answer is incorrect. What is this? Maris. Lemon. Lemon. Lemon is incorrect. Ivan. Lemonade. Lemonade is the correct answer. K-check. Question number 10. 
Berlin. Is the capital of which European country, Ivan? Germany. Germany is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11 in astronomy. What term that comes from the Greek word for milk refers to collections of millions of stars, dust, jarret? Galaxy. The Greek word for milk refers to collections of millions of stars, dust, and other particles existing as independent systems like Andromeda is galaxy. Okay, check. And the last question for this round, question number 12. In Philippine geography, what province just across Manila Bay has only two land neighbors, Zambales and Pampanga? Ivan. Bataan. Bataan is the correct answer. Okay, check. And that's it for our first round. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabby, for that round. Let's do a recap sa mga points nila. Leading si Ivan with 60 points, followed by Jarek with 40 points, at tied naman with 10 points each si Mariz at si Jethro. So bago tayo magpatuloy, we'd like to welcome a newcomer to our panel of experts. Let's welcome Professor Bernard Kaslib. Hello, and he teaches ethics and philosophy sa Manila campus ng UP. So, Prof, kamusta naman ang mga tanong na hinanda ninyo para sa mga contestants natin? Sa tingin nyo, may chance kaya silang makasagot? I, I think kaya naman nila. Tiwala ako. Yan, kaya-kaya ng mga engineering sure students. masasagot ng engineering students natin yan. Let's go now to our contestants. Marie, bakit naman civil engineering? Malaki na ba ang population ng kababaihan sa engineering? Um, actually, um, kaya po ako nag-engineering kasi I love math po nung high school. So, yun po yung pinili ko nung nag-upsat. Pero marami na ba ang population ng women sa College of Engineering? Sa College of Law natin, parang halos pantay na or mas marami na ang kababaihan wow. sa College of Law? Actually, opo. Parang marami na rin pong mga babae sa at least po sa civil end. At ang College of Engineering ang um, biggest college sa mga UP system. I think it's the biggest, yeah. no? The biggest population sa mga colleges. Ayan. Ito naman si Ivan. Bakit mo mas Oo, nasabing nga. lazy ka? Grabe yung level of <laughs> Parang honesty. Parang badge of honor. Diba? <laughs> Kasi pa, uh, madami pong outputs at deadlines na paparating. Tapos 50% complete ba? So, paano sa civil eng? Di ba, five years yan. Tingin mo ba, kaya mong balansehin yun with your um, badge of honor na may <laughs> pagka-lazy ka? Actually, within four years na lang po yung civil engineer. Ah, four years. Ah, so, mukhang hindi naman lazy kung kaya naman four years pala tapos yun. Sana pa. <laughs> Mamaya, itutuloy natin ang kwentuhan pero kailangan na muna natin paghandaan ng round two. Susunod na po dito sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. Ivan is leading with 60 points, followed by Jarek with 40 points, and Jethro and Maris 10 points each. Hindi naman oh. one. 10 points <laughs> 10 each. 10 points. Pero wala. With, as we go into the second and third rounds, magbabago pa yan. Magbabago yan. Sobra. So let's get to know our contestants more. Itong si Jarek, mahilig daw manood ng YouTube at anime. Ang YouTube, dati mga music videos lang halos and old footage. Pero ngayon, punong-puno na ito ng interesting content including Keche at ibang programa yun. ng TVUP. Ano-ano nga ba talaga ang pinapanood mo sa YouTube, Jarek? Mahilig po rin po ako manood ng videos ng mga games rin po na nilalaro ko. Tulad po ng Dota 2 and League of Legends po. Oh. Ano yun? Parang nakakuha ka ng mga tip tips? Yes po. Okay. Tututo rin po ako. Ganun pala yun. Ito. Siyempre, hindi ako makarelate. <laughs> Ito, si, speaking of games, no, si Jethro naman, mahilig magluto at maglaro ng Mobile Legends. So maraming... Naluto habang... Yun nga, yun yung tanong natin. Maraming nalululong kasi dito sa ML. Which is not bad naman kasi pang pastime na niya, di ba? So hindi ka ba nasusunugan ng niluluto mo kapag uh, busy-busy ka sa pag-ML mo? Uh, hindi naman po. Hindi ko po pinagsasabay kasi kapag nasunugan, sayang yung pagkain. 
<laughs> oh, tama. Dapat practical. Ito pa, mahilig ka rin sa ice coffee tsaka mga fraps. So, paano ka nag-experiment dito? Uh, dati, nanonood lang ako sa YouTube uh, tsaka sa TikTok paano magtimpla. Then, adjust-adjust ko hanggang sa mukha ko yung lasa na na-approve ng mga pinsan ko at nung wow. family ko. Tapos, actually, nagkaroon kami ng small coffee shop business. Wow. Pero I was about to ask, hindi ba kayo mag-open ng busy, coffee shop? Busy ako at saka yung pinsan ko na main barista. Um, pansamantala muna namin siyang kinlos. Dapat sa Eng, subukan mo minsan. Di ba sa lobby ninyo? Paalam ka lang sa admin niyo. Maraming customer doon. Oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, so now, siyempre, mula sa pagpapakilala nila, kailangan na natin maghanda para sa round 2. So contestants, get ready to buzz in but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin! Question number 1. The most read English novelist wrote the books A Tale of Two Cities, Oliver Twist, and a Christmas Carol. Who is he? Ivan. Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What fantasy character was played by Ramon Zamora and Matt Evans years ago and now by Matteo Goricelli? The correct answer is Pedro Penduco. Okay. Question number three. MSG is a popular flavor enhancer often added to restaurant foods and canned vegetables. What do the letters MSG stand for? Jarek. Monosodium glutamate. Monosodium glutamate is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. What word may be a mathematical term for the average of numbers? Or an adjective meaning unkind or stingy. Jethro. Mean. Mean is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What is the second largest island in the Philippine archipelago? Ivan. Mindanao. Mindanao is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. Which large juicy tropical fruit consisting of yellow flesh surrounded by a tough segmented skin and topped with a tuft of stiff leaves is canned as juice, chunks, or tidbit. Maris. Pineapple. Pineapple is correct. Okay, check. Mahilig ba kayo sa pineapple sa pizza? Okay. <laughs> Consensus. Okay. Question number seven. From a Latin word meaning poison, what common term refers to a microscopic infective agent made up of a protein coat covering genetic material that is only capable of reproducing in a living host cell? Ivan. Virus. Virus is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. In basketball, what team did Stephen Curry lead to four NBA titles between 2015 to 2022? Jarek. Golden State Warriors. Golden State Warriors is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. Named after a Scandinavian capital, what term describes the psychological response wherein a captive begins to identify closely with his or her captors? Ivan. Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome is correct. Okay, check. Question number ten. Which female singer's greatest hit singles include Hot and Cold, California Girls, and Firework? Ivan. Katy Perry. Katy Perry is correct. K okay, check. Question number 11. Scientists have discovered that a green pungent Japanese spice significantly boosts memory and cognitive function in adults. What is the name of this horseradish spice commonly mixed with soy sauce in Japanese restaurant? Jethro. Wasabi. Wasabi is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. Question number 12. The CA is a constitutional body that confirms or rejects certain political appointments made by the president. What do the letter CA mean? Mm -hmm. 
The correct answer is Commission on Appointments. And that's it for round two. So after that second round, let's see how our engineering guys did. Well, Ivan is leading with 160 wow. points, Jarek with 80, Jethro with 50, and Maurice with 30 points. Pero siyempre, attorney, hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng Game Check! Welcome back to Kate Check. Points recap muna tayo. Leading si Ivan with 160 points, followed by Jarek with 80 points, and then Jethro with 50 points, and si Mariz with 30 points. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. So, let's go for those points and for the win, guys. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan sa round na ito. So, dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each. Pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin! First question for this round will come from Prof. Glessie. Go ahead. Salamat! Magandang araw sa inyo. Okay. This park was said to have the shape of a half moon during the Spanish times and was situated next to a Spanish fort serving as a buffer during rebellions by the locals. It was named after the national hero, Jose Rizal, who was executed here. What is the name of this park? Letter A, Luneta. Letter B, La Huerta. Letter C, Imus. Letter D, All of the Above. And letter E, None of the Above. Maurice? A. Luneta. The answer is letter A. Luneta. K, check. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Bernard. Hello sa inyo. Okay, here is my question. The famous concept coined by William of Oakham, which means one must always choose the simplest explanation. Letter A, Oakham's... Ivan. Oakham's Razor. Oakham's Razor. K, check. Thank you so much. Next question, Prof. Marla. Which gas do plants absorb and convert into oxygen during... Jarek. Carbon dioxide. Okay, check. Thank you so much. Up next, Prof. Lessie. Oh, usapang pelikula. This national artist for film became famous because of his films, Anak Dalita. Bajau and Sakai. His wife, Daisy, is also a national artist. Who is this national artist? Letter A, Lamberto Avellana. Letter B, Lamberto Castro. Letter C, Fidel Castro. Letter D, Tony Santos Sr. And letter E, Leopoldo Salcedo. Ang sagot ay letter A, si Lamberto Avellana. Ayan, mag-asawa yan, si Lamberto at si Daisy. Thank you so much. Prof. Bernard, next question. Okay. Uh, ako naman, usapang pag-ibig. Mm. Oh. According to Robert Sternberg, which among the following love is characterized by intimacy and passion only? A. Liking. B. Companionate love. C. Romantic love. D. Infatuation. Or E. Consummate love. What's the correct answer, sir? Okay, the correct answer is romantic love. No, so if there's intimacy and passion only, that's romantic love. Kapag meron ding commitment, Consummate love. Yun yung perfect. Oh. 
Si Dr. Love pala. Si Dr. Love natin. pala ang kasama natin today. <laughs> Pero baka studies first daw muna yung mga students. Okay. Prof. Farla. Science ulit. What is the transfer of heat through direct contact called? Ivan. Conduction. Conduction is correct. K-check. Okay. Popular culture. Naku. Yes. Alam nyo to. Alam nyo to. Sino itong composer ng numerous novelty songs including Butchie Kick, Magellan, Mag-Exercise Tayo. Sino ang famous novelty songs composer na ito? Letter A, Yoyoy Villame. Letter B, Yoyoy Saway. Letter C, Maris. Yoyoy Villame. Correct answer is letter A, Yoyoy Villame. K check. Thank you, Prof. Bernard. Okay, ako naman. Which Eastern philosophy claims that the final goal of Nirvana? can be attained through the Eightfold Path. Ivan. Buddhism. Okay, check. Thank you so much. Grabe itong mga contestants natin. Wala pang choices. Oo nga eh. Nakakasagot na agad. Prof. Marla. What is the study of the structure and function of cells called? A. Physiology. B. Ecology. C. Biology. D. Cytology. E. Genetics. Jarek. C. Biology. Mali. Steel. Steel by Jethro. Cytology. Cytology is correct. K-check. Thank you so much. Now we're off to the last set of questions for this round. Prof. Glessie, go ahead. Okay. Usapang pelikula ulit. Tonya Sisang was president of the family-owned LVN Pictures. They were the pillar of local filmmaking, producing, producing big stars and helping popularize Tagalog movies. She was regarded as the grand old lady of Philippine movie industry. What was her, her full name? Letter A, Narcisa De Leon. Letter B, Marisa De Leon. Letter C, Hermosissima De Leon. Letter D, all of the above, and letter E, none of the above. Ivan. Letter B, Marisa De Leon. Wrong answer. Maris. Letter A, Narcisa De Leon. The correct answer is letter A, Narcisa De Leon. K check. Thank you, Prof. Bernard. Okay, uh, this is on the history of philosophy. He is known as the Angelic Doctor, an Italian philosopher and theologian known for his demonstration of God's existence. A. Thomas Jefferson B. Thomas Aquinas C. Ivan Thomas Aquinas Thomas Aquinas, K-check Last question for this round, Prof. Marla. Which of the following elements is a metal? A. Oxygen B. Nitrogen C. Calcium D. Fluorine E. Jethro Phosphorus Ay. The answer is wrong. Steel Jared um, C. Calcium Calcium is correct. K-Check. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Ivan, our K-Check Daily Winner, with a final score of 265 points. We will see Ivan again on Friday when he competes with our other Daily Winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Congratulations, Ivan. And of course, we'd like to thank Maris. Jethro and Jarek for being here and of course to our members of the panel of experts, Professor Glessie, galing, galing, Professor galing. Barnard, and Professor Marla. Once again, marami salamat. I'm Jules Gia. And I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check. <laughs>